Someone asked in uh, the comments to one of my videos on how I got color in the terminal, uh, and I'm assuming they're asking about when I type uh, ls to list my files and things such as that, that uh, different types of files are color coded different ways. And the honest answer is, I didn't know. Uh, that's default on a lot of distributions of Linux, but I know not all. Um, so I did a little research, uh, and what I'm going to show you here, uh, hopefully, will get you to the point where if you don't have that uh, feature installed, you'll be able to install it yourself. And since this is more of a presentation than a actual script lesson, uh, I decided to create a script for my presentation. So here it goes. Color in the terminal. Uh, on my Debian system, uh, the package that I need to install to enable that is Core Utilities or Core Utils. Uh, if you do an aptitude search of Core Utils, you'll get this and you'll see the I that I have here means that it's already installed, but if I didn't have it installed, I just be able to do aptitude install Core Utils and that will install it for us. Once it's installed, you'll want to run this command and then after that you can type uh, list dash dash colors equals auto and it will colorize everything for you. Now you're not going to want to type that out every time you want to list all your files so what you can do is create an alias by typing alias ls equals and then the command. Uh, the ls here is the alias that we're creating. You can actually change it to be anything you want uh, and then this is the command that will run when you type that in. So now if you type ls it actually will colorize everything for you. The problem is uh, aliases aren't saved from ses session to session so if you were to close that terminal or open another terminal or reboot your computer you'll have to reset the aliases. And do you want to reset every aliases every time you open a terminal? Probably not. That's where bash rc comes in. Uh, you should have in your home folder a file called dot bash rc and what this file is, it's a bash script that runs every time you open a terminal or start a new session. So uh, you can put your aliases in there and actually on my Debian system there already is a section for colors and this is what it looks like here. Uh, the first part is an if-then statement, well the whole thing is an if-then statement, but the first part is checking to see if dir colors uh, is installed, which is what we installed when we installed our core utilities package. Uh, if it does exist, then it's going to run through these commands, which most of them are commented out. If you have that, you may want to uncomment them and see what they do. Um, but basically, the two commands we ran earlier, and you can change it if you want to have a different alias. Uh, and once you have that saved in your bash rc file, uh, anytime that user starts a new session or opens up a new terminal, it will run that script and uh, the ls command will automatically be color coded after that. So thank you for watching this quick presentation. Hoped it helped. Uh, like I said, this was all set up by default on my system, so hopefully I didn't leave anything out. Um, if so, comment. And uh, I just hope that it helped you uh, if you didn't already have that feature installed.